We are ditching meat, at least for the day. Bill Ring, executive chef of Harvest Seasonal Grill, is here today with a twist on the traditional beef tartare, and this would be a beet tartare. Yes, it <laughs> right. is. Good morning, and thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Why beets? Well, beets are uh, very healthy. You know, we're all about, you know, from harvest, you know, taking care of the environment, you know, yeah. beets are from the earth. You know, right. what, what better than that? You know, they're very good for you. They've been known to help mental, uh, cancerous. So that's why I'm showcasing them here today. Oh, well, that's perfect. And, you know, we were talking during the break. That, you know, as a kid, maybe we weren't crazy about them. They've got a different taste. But, you know, you, you acquire a taste for them eventually if you give them a chance. Yep. Yeah. I mean, if you season anything, whether it's a meat, Vegetables, you use the right flavors for it, everything tastes delicious. All right, so, so let's get going. What right, are we doing here? So what we have here is we, I have golden beets that we roasted. Mm -hmm. We'll put those in there. I have red beets right here. Um, get these out of here. Not, yeah, not familiar with the other ones there. The, the golden beets? The golden yeah. ones, yeah. So I have some shallots. Okay. A little bit of salt and pepper. A little bit of chive. This is lemon oil. And some sherry vinegar. All righty. Right in there. I'm just gonna mix that up for you. You wanna kinda leave it in there so it gets the flavor okay. of the lemon oil and the sherry vinegar. All right, did you already put the spinach, uh, spinach chive? Sp spinach chive pesto, pesto is gonna go on at okay, the end. Okay, I see. So Tell us about that. Spinach chive pesto, so it's basically spinach chives, a little bit of oil, salt, pepper, garlic. Very mm -hmm. flavorful. What I have here is a citrus ricotta. Okay. Put that right down there. Once that's in there, Put these right in here. Wow, yeah, it smells great. <laughs> That's good. A little bit, this is, uh, this is the spinach chai pesto right here. Okay, all right. Chisel that around a little bit. Yeah. This is a mint infused honey. So we take um, mint, put it in a mason jar. We put it under low water, about 109 degrees for about two hours. Then we let it cool. Okay. And put that right over there. Wow, look at all these little tricks. That's go. good stuff. I like yep. the way you layer it up. That's beautiful. Layer the flavors. There's, all right. This is beautiful enzyme, which we have on the table. Last but not least, we have some Sorel. Okay. Just going to put that around here. Makes it look very, very pretty. There you go. <laughs> That's nice. And there you go. Now, you guys are farm to table. Explain to us exactly what does that mean. I mean, the obvious is boom and boom, right? So with Harvest, um, our main motto is know your farmer, know your food. So we work with a bunch of different farms around here. Uh, from Natural Nomad, they grow all of our microbes. They also have a garden out front for us. So we actually use the rosemary from the garden That's on perfect. the dishes, the sage on the dishes. Um, we also take it one step further with Harvest in Florida is one of my fishermen, Eric Finn. He's a friend of mine. He calls me up and goes, I just got back to the dock. I got barrel fish. How much do you want? I'm like, 50 pounds. It's from the dock yeah. to your plate. I mean, that's perfect. And it's, it's fresh. Not much travel time, right? No, right. not at all. So that's you know, kind of what we do down here. We change the menu seasonally. Uh, we just actually, this is on the winter menu we mm -hmm. just put out last Wednesday. Very so. nice. Can we go back to this one for just one yeah, second? Sure. I mean, that's, how, do you, how do you make that? Do you just, so it you takes take a while? No, um, we get ricotta. It's beautiful. We get beautiful ricotta Love in, it. and then we uh, lemon zest, a little bit of orange zest, salt and pepper. We mix it all up together, and Perfect. it's ready to go on the plate. That looks great. All right, during the break, I'll uh, check it out, or during 